doing today? Pretty good? <laughs> My name is Caslett and I'll be doing the demonstrations for a Hyundai Motor Company booth today. First, we want to thank you for your interest in our demonstrations. Let's go ahead and begin the robotics performance. Since the establishment of brand vision, Hyundai Motor con continues to promote its human-centered mobility under the theme of progress for humanity. For CES 2022, Hyundai would like to promote its robotics technology under the theme expanding human reach. Recently, as a paradigm for mobility continues to grow, a need for a smarter and more eco-friendly movement has become crucial. So we are focusing our efforts on autonomous driving, hydrogen energy, and the UAM. Hyundai Motor hopes that robotics do not become a humanoid that replaces humans, but acts as an assistant to everyday life. Based on the vision, a lifetime company to unlimited humanity, we hope to promote a future where both robotics and humans can coexist. So one, we have robotics technology that promotes mobility with wearable robots and spot. Two, we have robotics performance that allows objects to move freely using PNG modules. And lastly, three, we're introducing the industry's first technology in the era of the metaverse, which connects the virtual reality to reality. So let's go ahead and introduce you to the technology behind the stage and to the side and introduce you to the metaverse, which is directly behind the stage. So now I would like to introduce you to Hyundai Motor Robotics that'll bring us one step closer to expanding human reach. So first, let's meet Spot, the four-legged walking robot. Now before I go ahead with its introduction, let's go ahead and have a dynamic dance performance from Spot. Next, I'm going to get up here and do a dance routine to myself. <laughs> Just kidding, that would be a complete disaster. So, um, one thing you'll very obvious with Spot is that it has legs, right? But something that's not quite as obvious is it has five stereo cameras, and it's using those cameras live to map the world around it. So it's determining where to put its feet. If an obstacle is 30 centimeters or below, the robot will step on it. If the obstacle is above 30 centimeters, it will avoid it. So all the operator has to do is just give it a high level command. Just say, go here or go there, and the robot's gonna figure out the rest. That allows Spot to be terrain agnostic and operate in environments like stairs, gravel, sort of difficult terrain that humans take for granted, but for traditional wheeled or tracked robots has been really, really difficult. In addition to that, Spot can hold up to 30 pounds of payload on the back of the robot. So 
you can mount different IoT sensors or sensors that are important to your organization. We've seen thermal cameras to do mechanical and electrical inspections, acoustic sensors to look for compressed air leaks, uh, 3D scanners or LiDAR scanners to get 3D digital twins of environments. And in the end, we think there are really three main areas that we can make a positive impact with SPOT. One is going into unsafe environments. So think about a nuclear power plant. Today, someone has to put a radiation sensor on and walk through a facility to determine radiation levels. What if you can just mount that on the back of the robot and keep the person safe? The other is in logistically challenging environments. So think about an offshore oil rig. Rather than getting in a helicopter to fly out to a rig to do an inspection, what about just teleoperating from a command center and doing the inspection remotely? And the third area that we're super excited about is bringing a level of autonomy into environments that really weren't designed for autonomy. So think about industrial facilities that were built 50 years ago. You can mount the right sensors on the back of the robot and you can teach it a path to go inspect hundreds of different data points and have it do that every day and collect mountains of data that you can then use to, for analytics and improve predictive maintenance uh, performance. The other thing you'll notice on this robot, it's, it's, it's got a fully integrated manipulation arm. So to now, we've been talking about sensing environments. But with the arm, you can actually manipulate environments. You can do things like open doors to get into more places, pick up objects, drag objects, swap objects, turn a lever or turn a valve. So once you find an issue, that you can then remediate it without ever having to send a human in. And the last thing I'll bring your attention to is a concept that we're working on that just looks like a cool color scheme for Spot, but the reality is it's actually a high-tech lighting system, and it's designed to give visual cues as to the robot's behavior, so it can improve robot and human interactions, and, and people can understand what the robot is about to do. So that's all for Spot. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, we'll be here afterwards. Thank you very much. I'll pass it back to Caslin. Wow. Spot is truly beyond what we could have imagined. It truly does perform a variety of functions, and I look forward to its various activities in the future. Let's go ahead and give another big round of applause for Boston Dynamics and Spot. So moving on, we will have a robotics performance with a theme focusing on mobility. I'll be having three engineers from Hyundai Motor to help us with this next demonstration. So let me introduce you to smart architecture technology and mobility platforms that will present new concepts about mobility. The core of Hyundai Motors Group's new Mobility of Things ecosystem, or known as the MOT, is to give infinite autonomy to mobility by applying robotics technology to common objects. The PND module, or known as Plug and Drive, is an integrated solution that combines wheels, motors, steering wheel, suspension, brake system, and environment sensors into a single structure. This module applies a steering actuator that can turn limitlessly, allowing for 360 degree rotations and unrestricted navigations and movement. By installing this module in various objects that can navigate, it grants versatile movements of the object. The sub-platform of personal mobility consists of a combination of four PND modules. Rotational opening and closing applied to personal mobility allows an efficient use of the space. Welcome personal mobility to the center of the stage and we'll watch its unrestricted movements. So personal mobility, it may rotate on a fixed spot through four PND modules that comprise of its lower platform. Moreover, the technical features of the modules allow for even freer movements. So thank you for your demonstration, personal mobility. The PND module may be scaled up flexibly in size and shape, depending on the platform applied or to meet new purposes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to the next module. The lower platform of the L7 placed on your left consists of four scaled up PND modules. A passenger seat is combined with a lower platform in L7 type size to produce the L7. Let's go ahead and welcome the L7 on stage so we can watch its unrestricted movements. Welcome L7.
With 360 degree turns, the L7 may change directions freely, even in restricted spaces. In addition, steering in all directions allows for movement not only front and back, but also left to right. The L7 may also move freely, even in spaces with not enough room for a turning radius. When faced with a roadblock, it can evade it by moving in a diagonal direction, or what we like to call a crab walk. Furthermore, since it can be steered in all directions, it can move freely, just like the moves of a figure skater. If the seat is removed, it may be transformed into a logistics module to carry cargo and to transport it to other locations. Thank you for your demonstration, L7. Yes. <laughs> now, moving on to MOVAC, which is entering on this side of the stage. So MOVAC has DNL modules, which stands for Drive and Lift, and is applied to MOVAC in an integrated solution based on eccentricity mechanisms that combines driving, steering, and brake system into a single structure. The MOVID is a multilateral mobile platform using four DNL modules. MOVID is able to freely adjust inclination and height using eccentricity mechanisms. So we have rolling, pitching, and elevation. And the combination of four DNL modules allows for 360 degree turns at a fixed spot and unrestricted steering in all directions, just like that of the personal mobility and the L7. So the application of eccentricity mechanisms based posture control system to the MOVID allows it to take optimal posture per ground condition and navigate in a stable posture when faced with unexpected obstacles. Even on stairways, MOVID enables the body to maintain the level, safely protecting the load that it carries. As such, MOVID has overcome the limits of mobility that has been limited to flat surfaces. MOVID is also able to navigate freely without restrictions of movements. Let's go ahead and take a moment to watch the MOVID and demonstrate all of its free movements. attention. Thank you so much, Mobid. Now, connected with a variety of upper modules, such as the monitor, Mobid is capable of providing differentiated services. Thank you, Mobid, for your demonstration. Harnessing its mobility technologies, Hyundai Motor Group will build an MOT ecosystem that responds to any future changes, ranging from personal mobility for individuals to logistic platforms for industrial sites. So please pay close attention to the robotics that Hyundai Motor will build in the near future. As we are ending our presentations here, we will be bringing the robotics back to their place. So please be aware of your surroundings, pay attention to our staff so that you and the robots will remain safe. Thank you so much for our presentation here at Hyundai Motors and enjoy the rest of your show.